guys and welcome back to the Cassie Projects. In today's video we're going to be doing something a little bit different, well very different actually. I'm going to be painting on a rubber duck. Yep, a rubber duck. What better way to present art in your bathroom than having a rubber duck? I thought it looked cool, you know I've, I've recently done up my bathroom and I want some art in there. Let's bring the rubber duck into the bathroom with art on it. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna paint a Van Gogh Starry Night on this duck. And if this goes well, I might even paint another duck. And uh, if that one goes well, I might even paint this duck as well. So I've got a few backups. But today we'll be starting on this little one. This is George, meet George. I'm really excited actually. I'm a little bit nervous because it's a squishy material and I don't know how well paint products are going to adhere to that. So I'm thinking I'm going to give it a coat of spray paint but this is a special kind of spray paint that sprays onto plastic. It's like a, a primer. So I'm going to prime it with this plastic spray paint stuff and then I'm going to paint on it and I think I might use my new Angelus leather paints because again they are more flexible than acrylic. That will stop it from breaking off when I squish it. That's the plan today. Let's turn George into Starry Night. George? <laughs> I'm losing it. Okay, so here is George. He's in his packaging. He's probably been in here a very long time and I think it's time to free him. Let's get him out of there. And here he is, looking very uh, naked without that box actually. And uh, I'm gonna go out into the garden and spray it with this plastic primer spray paint. I let that dry overnight just to make sure it was completely dry before I used my mechanical pencil. Um, I've done a little doodle in my bullet journal of how I want it to look to give me an idea of where I wanted to uh, you know, place all the different features in the painting. Obviously it's not just the painting, I'm repeating the painting twice going around each side of it. So it made it a little bit different and I'm just using my mechanical pencil just to outline whereabouts where I need to put the paint. And then I'm also going to use my acrylic paint pens just to go round all those lines just to give me a better idea for when I get my leather paints out. that I'm using today. These are Angelus acrylic leather paints. Basically you can paint on any kind of leathery material. I thought this would work quite well because it has that squishiness to it so I needed that paint to be quite flexible. I've never used them before until now and wow I see why people use them. They're so nice to use. The texture of them they're so fluidy and they go on so nice and they're opaque and smooth and they dry so fast and I really like the finish on it as well it's it's kind of like a satin kind of look to it it kind of looks like leather basically which you know is pretty obvious they were an absolute dream to work with The duck is dry and I'm very, very pleased with the paint job. I'm not gonna lie, I think I've done a pretty good job. I'm really pleased with the fact that it squishes and it doesn't chip. Now, the only issue is the base. The base isn't so pretty, so I'm gonna paint on that and then sign the bottom of it. I know no one else can see it, but I will know 
that that doesn't look good. Then we need to seal it. I've got some sealant. Let me get it. So this is crystal clear by Rust-Oleum. So that's what I'm going to use as my top coat. I used it on something else. What did I use it on? Do you remember? My Russian dolls. I used it on my Russian dolls. So um, yeah, and it, it's done quite a good job. Let's paint the base of the duck first. So uh, let's go back outside and seal it with the clear coat spray paint. Of course I needed to show you my doggies and my chickens having a little play. William. Well, I think that went well, don't you? I um, weren't sure how this was gonna go, if it was gonna work, and I absolutely love it, and I, I'm gonna be so proud to have this in my bathroom. It's funny, it looks almost like it's like pottery, or even wood. Like, you wouldn't know that it's a squidgy rubber duck underneath. So, I love the effect of it, and I can't wait to do some more like me you like getting creative uh, not just art not just crafts but even if it's DIY or baking or gardening whatever you're into that allows you to get creative then feel free to come and join my uh, Facebook group it's called Cassie's Creativity Club and basically we just share our artwork we encourage each other inspire each other I absolutely love sharing your creations now this one in particular this week was from Sue Housen Cooper she painted her old water bottle to give it some more life and I absolutely love it it reminds me of being at the beach with the the water crashing into the sand and the bright summer day so well done Sue you've done an amazing job with that and I genuinely want to have a little go of that myself it looks really fun so random comment of the week is from Jane she commented on one of my create this book episodes I think it's number five and she said with the help of the create this book series I seem to discover a lot of underrated artists like you I love your videos thank you so much Jane I totally agree this book is fantastic I love that it's got so many people creating and there's so many awesome artists on YouTube that you, you never get to see and so I really do encourage you to have a little hunt out there and, and look for these smaller YouTubers because there really is some talent out there. If you haven't already feel free to subscribe to my channel I really appreciate the support and I'll see you all next week. Bye!